Flamlist, hello, hello, hello. How are you guys doing? Uh, another Welcome to another edition of Flamlist Tip of the Week. And this week we're talking about something that is kind of like our religion over at Flamlist, and that's A-B testing. So A-B testing is a concept, concept that's super important because it gives you an opportunity to see what things work and what don't before you double down, right? So you first you want to do the test, see what clicks, see what kind of message resonates, see what campaign did, see what Facebook ad is performing better, or see what cold email gets more replies or drives more clicks or whatever that you're testing. All of that you can do by leveraging A-B testing features. And in Lamlist, you can test a whole bunch of things. Like you can test your subject line. You can test your uh, message. You can test different images. You can test videos versus image. You can test anything you want. Or you can test, uh, you can A-B test the entire sequence. So have one sequence with a couple of emails, another sequence with a couple of emails, and see what works better before you say, okay, this is the one, and then you really do some serious campaign. So in this video, I'm going to show you all that. And so when you go to your Lambest account, click on uh, create a new campaign. And once you do, just type your name. I'm going to say, what's up, guys? Really interesting <laughs> how you guys are doing. Uh, you click on next, go to buddies to be. I'm just gonna manually input my email. Boom, that's done. And so when you come to the uh, messages section of your campaign, this is where the A-B testing magic happens. So let's say that for this particular uh, video, we're gonna, in the step one, we're gonna test, let's say, uh, two entirely different templates. So in first one, I'm gonna use Tinder for sales. Then you just go here and click A-B test this step. Life is made up of choices, Lam Lister. We want this choice, yes, absolutely. And let's say that in the second step, we wanna test, for example, a different template and choose convert more website visitors. So essentially, I'm not saying that this is the, some wonderful A-B test you wanna do, but if you wanna test different templates, this is a plain example here you can do. If you decide not to test, you can always remove them, remove message A or remove message B. Uh, so once you do that, you can, for example, set your follow-up here. And let's say that in the follow-up, we wanna test a uh, different subject line. So we, for example, choose the customer acquisition template. And we also want to A-B this, uh, this step, say yes here, boom. And let's say we want to uh, we want to test subject line. So let's say in this B message, since I'm listening to Imagine Dragon so much, these days let's say bad liar is going to be the subject line. And in the next step is going to be out of touch uh, from Get Out of City, two excellent songs. So of course you're not going <laughs> to test this subject lines, but this is just a plain example. So you can test subject line and see where open, where, where better open rate uh, lies. And let's say that this is our campaign that we want to do. You come here, you click next. You, let's say San Francisco night, boom, boom, boom. I'm not going to set this right up, uh, not going to set this up now, but you can test it later. Choose the email you want. I'm going to use me. Um, you can choose all the options that you want here, boom create a new campaign. And so you did it. This is your, essentially your campaign. Step one, step two, two messages. And in the results, you will see um, when, you, uh, when you open your campaign and go to overview, you will see how different results are performing. You can always come to the campaign later, eliminate the losing message and keep, keep the winning one. But another cool and uh, really cool trick that you can do is you can test sequences. So imagine if we have one sequence, sequence A, with step one, step two, step three email, and a sequence number two that has step one, step two, step three email, uh, email uh, right? And we wanna test which sequence performs better. The way to do that, and I admit, it's not essentially like the most clear way to do it in Lamlist, but what, what you can do to do that and test as uh, A-B test sequences and compare sequences is that you click on edit, uh, you go to messages, scroll down, and you will have this button, A-B test the sequence. So once you click that, you will see that you get message A and message B here, right? So message A would be essentially the one we set up, or we can choose the message B and maybe move all these uh, B messages into message B or just set a new sequence 
and that's why we that um, a b test the entire sequence if you don't want to do that you can always click remove you click on save and you are good to go and i think this is it so hopefully like i've inspired you to do some more a b testing because it's really uh, it, it really gives you some amazing insights into how your audience interacts, what kind of message uh, resonates better with your audience, whether one open rate performs, uh, one subject line performs better than the other one, or just like are there different, uh, two different onboarding sequences and you figure out that one works better than the other, and then you can use it on your whole audience once you test it out. So, Hopefully this helps, and uh, if you guys have, have any questions, just drop your comments or click reply uh, on the newsletter, and we'll be right on it. Thanks, guys. Take care, and see you next week.